computers. The machines that power our modern world. But have you ever wondered, what was the first operating system? How did it all begin? This is the story of the unsung heroes behind the evolution of operating systems, those who laid the foundation for everything we use today. Welcome to the firsts. Hit those buttons before we start our journey. In the 1950s, computers were vast, room-filling machines. Every calculation required manual input, and programs were fed through stacks of punch cards. It was inefficient, time-consuming. That all changed in 1956, when General Motors and North American Aviation developed GMNAA for the IBM 701. For the first time, computers could automatically manage jobs in batches, executing multiple tasks in a queue without requiring constant human intervention. This innovation laid the groundwork for time-sharing systems in the years to come. The 1960s brought groundbreaking innovation. IBM, under the leadership of Fred Brooks, introduced OS 360. It was one of the first operating systems designed to work across multiple computer models, paving the way for compatibility in computing. Meanwhile, at Bell Labs, two brilliant minds, Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie, saw the limitations of existing systems. In 1969, they created Unix, an OS that introduced multitasking, portability, and a hierarchical file system. Unix would go on to influence virtually every modern operating system, including Linux and Mac OS. As the era of mainframes faded, the personal computer was on the horizon. In 1974, a brilliant mind named Gary Kildall developed CPM, the first commercially successful OS for microcomputers. CPM introduced standardized disk storage and a command line interface that influenced future systems. However, it was Microsoft's MS-DOS, launched in 1981, that would become the dominant operating system of the early personal computing era, thanks to its partnership with IBM. Meanwhile, a young Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were working on something revolutionary, the Apple II, one of the first widely adopted home computers. Behind closed doors, researchers at Xerox PARC, led by visionaries like Alan Kay and Douglas Engelbart, developed a game-changing concept, the Graphical User Interface, GUI. It allowed users to interact with computers through icons, windows, and a mouse, rather than typing text commands. In 1983, Apple introduced Lisa, its first computer with a GUI, but it was expensive and commercial failure. However, in 1984, the Macintosh changed everything. With a sleek interface and easy-to-use design, the Mac popularized the GUI. Microsoft followed in 1985 with Windows 1.0, and by the end of the decade, graphical interfaces had become the standard for operating systems. Then, in 1991, a Finnish student, Linus Torvalds, released Linux, an open-source operating system built on Unix principles. Unlike proprietary software, Linux was free to use, modify, and distribute. It became the backbone of web servers, embedded systems, and later, mobile devices. Meanwhile, Microsoft revolutionized personal computing with Windows 95. It introduced the Start menu, Taskbar, and Plug-and-Play hardware support, 
making computers more accessible than ever before. By the end of the decade, the rise of the Internet reshaped how operating systems functioned, integrating web connectivity at their core. Then came the mobile revolution. In 2007, Apple introduced iOS with the first iPhone, bringing a touch-based OS to the masses. Google soon followed with Android in 2008, an open-source mobile OS that would dominate global smartphone markets. At the same time, cloud computing changed everything. Operating systems no longer had to run software locally. Services like Google Drive and Microsoft Azure moved computing to the Internet. AI-powered operating systems and quantum computing are redefining how we interact with technology, marking the beginning of yet another major shift. From a room-filling machine to a device in your pocket, Operating systems have come a long way. But one question remains, what's next? Subscribe to The Firsts for more untold stories of technology, and don't forget to like and share. See you in the next episode.